The tongue with filiform and circumvallate papillae. H and E staining. The specimen is a cross section of the tongue, stained with the standard hematoxylin ersin method. The tongue is an organ that forms part of the floor of the oral cavity. It is made of bundles of striated muscle fibers that run in three planes, crossing each other, typically at right angles, enveloped by fascia and mucosa. Dorsal and ventral surfaces of the tongue can be distinguished. Centrally located muscle fibers are interwoven with loose connective tissue proper, rich in blood vessels and nerves. The main role of the tongue is to push the food towards the teeth, mix the food while chewing, and move it into the throat. Here we can see the dorsal part of the tongue, covered with stratified keratinizing squamous epithelium and the underlying loose connective tissue proper, which forms the mucosa lamina propria. The epithelium forms multiple projections into the lamina propria, which also projects into the epithelium, forming primary papillae. Since most of the papillae are the filiform type and perform mechanical functions, like grinding food, their epithelium is strongly keratinized. Some of the papillae on the dorsal tongue are sensory papillae, responsible for taste sensation. The circumferential papilla visible in the specimen is an example of a sensory papilla. In humans, there are 10 to 20 circumvallate papillae arranged in a V-shape just in front of the sulcus terminalis. Each circumvallate papilla is large, reaching down to below the dorsal surface of the tongue. It is clearly surrounded by the peripapillary trench, which then turns into the peripapillary furrow. The papilla is covered with stratified squamous epithelium, either non-keratinized or slightly keratinized. The connective tissue stroma protrudes into the papillary surface, forming secondary papillae. Brighter, barrel-shaped structures, referred to as taste buds, are visible in the lateral areas of the papilla within the epithelium. They are responsible for the reception of taste stimuli. Furthermore, an opening of the von Ebner serous glands is found at the base of the peripapillary trench. 